welcome to my project buzzer.com this is our title minimizing radio resource usage for machine to machine communication through uh, data center clustering and this is our abstract while clustering communication has been considered as one key technology for wireless sensor network existing work on cluster for uh, formation predominantly takes a pure graph theoretic approach with the goal of optimizing the performance of individual machine uh, since the radio resource available for m to m communication is typically limited Yet the amount of data transport is large, such uh, resource agnostic and data agnostic. Uh, clustering techniques could lead to suboptimal performances. Uh, to address this problem, uh, to address this problem, and the constraint M to M, and that is machine to machine network, by prioritizing the quantity of overall data, the performance of individual machine, we first for the form, we first need to formulate optimization problem to minimize the amount of data resource needed for supporting two tier cluster communication. Uh, we then partition the control and uh, counter cluster formation sub problems and propose algorithm for solving the problem. While power control can optimally solve for any given cluster structure by proposed algorithm. Uh, cluster formation is an NPR problem. Uh, hence, we propose uh, uh, hence we propose any time uh, guided stochastic search algorithm to find reasonably good cluster structure without incurring prohibitive uh, computation complexity. Uh, compared with baseline approaches, our evaluation results shown that a data center clustering can achieve noticeable performances gained by selecting only uh, important machines and forming a cluster structure that can uh, balance the radio resources for the two tire. We therefore motivate data center clustering as a promising communication model for this instant MTM network case. Uh, IoT uh, has been uh, efficient that a huge amount of machines will be installed and the interconnection in the near future to facilitate, facilitate better living experiences for human beings uh, through various uh, M2M machine to mission, mission applications such as home, home automations, neighborhood surveillances, intelligent transportation and small and small energy, uh, smart energy uh, different from uh, conventional wireless sensor network in many uh, many of these MTM applications machines are not necessarily limited in the form factor. Um, processing capability and energy supply as small sensors are to effectively support long range, long uh, large scale MTM communications. Therefore, several standardization bodies for next generation communication systems have actively investigated mechanism for machine to machine uh, communications. This is a project flow. Data from cluster in which we will be getting a uh, input data as a file or a, a folder from a cluster from a node uh, which is been in a cluster, and then we will be using a radio resource. Uh, the radio resource is a medium through which wireless uh, wireless devices uh, can be can be uh, able to transmit the data uh, between the two devices, and then data center clustering. Data center clustering is used to optimize the radio resource if the radio resource has been uh, have too many data to transmit between two devices. And then optimizing data resources. Data resources need to be optimized for an every for uh, for every transmission for every transmission of data uh, because we need to transmit the data in a uh, uh, radio resource. Uh, then file transmission of the cluster and the radio radio resource is used to transmit the data from a uh, one cluster to another cluster, which, is, which means a machine a group of machines from one cluster to a uh, single machine to another cluster. Uh, this is our project demo. Uh, just right click on the home uh, and to run file. We will be getting our first screen. I am missing radio usage for machine to machine communication through data center clustering. Mm, this is just our title. And start. Uh, in this frame, we need to create a cluster. Uh, first, we need to create how many cluster we need. Uh, we, we need. I just create four. In this uh, cluster one, cluster two, cluster three, cluster four has been de get created. In this next, I need to create a number of nodes in each clusters. In cluster one, I need two nodes. I just create node creator, node one, node two. In cluster two, I need three nodes. I just create node has been created like this. In cluster three, four nodes. Then in cluster four. I need five nodes. Nodes has been created. Next, I need to optimize the cluster uh, for detecting a uh, transmission between a two good clusters for a data transmission to be a, in a uh, 
data security way. And for this, I for that I need to select a source and destination from a cluster which has which has been get created already. Cluster. Uh, I I I used to select a source from a cluster one. My source my source node is node one, and I need to select a destination also. Uh, for destination has been selected from cluster three. Destination node is seven. You, you can see the node one and node seven as a source and destination. Then I then we can able to transfer our files using ready resource so that I am using ready resource here. Cluster has been optimized. Uh, then uh, we need to transfer a file right so that uh, we we should pick a file before transferring. I just choose a file. In this I have a text file uh, called as mobile computing. Uh, in this I am calculating file size because uh, file size plays a major role in the because larger file size can't take can't easily can able to travel in a reduce so that we are calculating file size according to according to the file size the file has been uh, sent to the radio resource or a uh, data center clustering. Uh, in this uh, file uh, file size is a five KB so that uh, I process the file which sends to the data centric clustering in this I, uh, I am just uh, importing a uh, file to the data centric and then while clicking the data centric I just uh, get a data centric uh, output that the file has been uh, has been saved in SQL as it's uh, need to get into the radio resource now you can see that radio resource available for 60 percent so that we can able to tra uh, transfer our files and just I click a radio resource uh, for transmission Okay, and then in this file transmission, I can able to see source uh, node one and node two. Uh, for this uh, practical example, I have just created a node, la a directory for a node one and node seven. In node one, there will be a file which has been get uh, picked here, and node seven will be empty until we um, we click on a send button. Uh, we can just see through this. Here we will be having a node one uh, containing a file. And in node seven, there is nothing. And then while clicking on send button, successfully sent. Now you now if you look on the node seven, you will be getting a same file. So the file has been sent successfully. And uh, then in this we can also able to get a um, message that a file has been get sent or been. Uh, not delivered at all. Uh, for that, just click on get. You will be getting a file which is being sent to a destination node. Then we will be representing a graph at a final, uh, which represents the uh, ready resource availability uh, made use of uh, data centric. I just created it. Uh, click here. We will be getting a graph like this. Uh, before using data centric, I am. Uh, Radio resource is available only for 20 percent, but after using a data centric, our radius our radius is available for 60 percent. Um, thank you.